What an exciting auction Tuesday night. Some really nice furniture. Look at those beautiful chinoise redecorated bookcase secretary. 1940s mahogany. I think it's Maddox is the maker. Light up little display bookshelf inside. Lots of artwork by known and unknown artists. This is a really cool piece. The Tomb and Shade of Napoleon. Lots of rugs. Nice furniture again. Great. Love this big uh, sofa table, I'm guessing. Uh, big twist legs on there. Big room size rug. I haven't measured it yet, but it's a nice piece. Royal Wooster. Um, Wooster Herbs. Great Mission Oak buffet. Love the gallery, the you know, the, more the detail there. Nice little detail work in the back. Mission Oak Morris chair, great little Mission Oak side table. Really dig the concrete pagodas. Another nice room size, another nice rug. Look at all the lamps lit up by Tuesday. It's Friday evening. Love this buffet, love this angled doors on the front here. Gives a little more depth for a big serving tray. Imagine Thanksgiving turkey there in the middle. Sand paintings, a pencil sign piece by Seaborn. Nice Victorian dresser. You now Bristol has, I'm not that big a fan of Bristol glass, do you know, a great pair of uh, Bristol glass hand painted lamps, or vases. Another good looking piece of mahogany. <clears throat> and this is the uh, let's see if one handed, yeah. Little secretary drawer in the front again with the fitted interior. A lot of pencil sign prints, nice watercolors by Stewart. There are two Frederick James in the auction pencil sign pieces. A couple of nice little boots. This is a cool desk, chrome and glass. Be a great desk, a little kitchen table. Neat chairs, some nice artwork again. Uh, Jean Petit, Kansas City artist, I believe. Really cool modern piece. Dig this. It came out of the basement in Kansas City, Kansas. Oh boy, we gotta clean that. Had a bird in here this week. So wherever there's conduit and the bird is jumping around now, there's dust and dirt underneath. <laughs> so we have to clean up again. The conference table was a custom made piece for a member of the Block family years ago. Looks very much like a Dunbar style. Although there are no labels on it anywhere. Another good rug. Neat little modern table and chair, chair and ottoman. Second of the chrome chairs here. Beautiful Asian screen. This came out of the estate in Kansas City, Kansas. And did not even know it existed until this morning we were picking up the final load of furniture from there. Mm. That's smart. Little wiggle dress from the 50s or 60s. Nice old Hoosier type cabinet. This is cool. Little folding antique table there. Ozark Mountain Mills. Label on the back. Neat chairs. Care of those. Great old blanket trunk. Check out the construction, the quality. Kind of neat vintage nude. New post is here. Pretty cool. Some vintage chairs. This is cool. A family record of. It's going to be you! Nothing has ever been filled out. I don't know if I've ever seen one that's been completely virginal. Love the deco mirror there with the blue glass. Some religious iconography. Nice pair of three drawer little French tables there. Good looking, good sizes. This is a really cool pie safe. Star pattern punch tins. Been refinished, but it's stamped or signed J.W. Concordia, Missouri on the back. You can see that in the pictures. And it's, uh, I'm on the wrong side. Vet de Gaulle. Ah, H.W. On that slant right there. There's the M.O. and Concordia's right there. Cool piece. Nice pair of pineapple singles. Pineapple noodle uh, beds. Some neat uh, 
goodies on the rack here, some good quilts. Really like the bell system. Uh, bowling shirt. Some good quilts. Like the uh, Bendix Club. Bendix Gun Club. Another conference table with six chairs. Nice set here. Got an office drop fitting. Heck of a deal, I am sure, for somebody. Great looking little uh, mahogany chest here, two over three. Nice bun feet, needs a little bit of work, but it'd be great TV counter, you know, great TV cabinet. Uh, it's a nice height with a lot of storage built in. A little 50s dinette set, great color. The chairs need to be recovered, but uh, nice little set. There are some good watercolors in the rack here, a little, some pencil sign pieces. The, uh, the Torres watercolor, I think, is really quite well nice. They just, we could not find anything about a Torres that we could say was yay or nay. A couple nice little bedroom sets. Kind of items from mainly two estates as we went off of Ward Parkway and one at Kansas City, Kansas. And there are nice items from both in different genre and realm of items. So, looks like a portrait of Philemon Bennett, although we are not sure who the artist was on that. Something man it looks like. Odds and ends of chairs. The uh, CPA sign is cool, but you could put any sign in that frame that you wanted, and that's the uh, the nice part about it. Another nice bedroom set. Great little primitive stool, a little vending machine. Oh, don't forget this nice Chinese rug on here. No, another nice big room size rug. Good color. This one's worn, but I like the simplicity of the pattern and the great cobalt color and the center. Floral basket is really quite nice. Not a whole lot in the boxes this time. Uh, shouldn't take us very long. Neat little selection of uh, shades. So he's just cleaning out some inventory. You never, you know how that works. But uh, if you need some shades, there's some nice ones here. Some unique shapes and sizes. So, and several sets and pairs. There are some interesting books in here, big set of Avengers C uh, DV or VHS tapes. Some more of the estate boxes. Just odds and ends. There's some neat things in these boxes. Make sure you kind of come through, take a look at it. You know how it works down here. Sometimes there's some great things hidden in amongst the gems and the boxes. So, a bunch of circus posters. Oh, they're sliding. We gotta pin those up, I guess, or something. Some really neat. I love the big tiger on this one, the Stevens Brothers. And some more circus posters on the rack there. Folks, the back half of the auction house is really, really nice. Again, it's kind of our motto, our mantra lately. It's not going to be a ton. We're not stacked to the ceiling. We're not overwhelmed or overwhelming. Although we're looking at 3,000 square feet of good quality merchandise. And there's not much here that is uh, needing too many explanations or apologies. Oh, the San Zane leaning under the table here it is a pencil signed litho tag on there on the bottom, but it has been laid down. But it's got an arches paper. The uh, you can see right there when you look closely. It is pencil signed. There's information across the bottom from this. You know, he wrote down there. It could be removed from that. It'll be some money, but it's a good San Zan. All right, come on out Tuesday. Have a great Mother's Day. And uh, come on out, mothers, come out and pick what you want and buy yourself a gift. Otherwise, just come out and enjoy the evening. One of our last auctions in the original location. Have a great weekend. I look forward to seeing you on Tuesday.